How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Today, uh, this is about my Hardage DSM 59 lathe. I need to sell that. Another piece of equipment coming in the shop and I need to move things around a little bit and um, so I've decided to sell my DSM 59. The turret lathe, it's one horsepower, three phase. I you run it with a rotary phase converter. The rest of the video will have some more in-depth information here. Uh, I'll show you the tooling that's going to go with it. So I'll show you in, in operation. Everything works. Coolant system works. Um, it's worked flawlessly for me for the time I've had it, several years now. I've made thousands of parts with it. Uh, it's just that I really don't need it. It's a beautiful machine, very precise. Uh, it's in great, if not excellent condition. Uh, and uh, that's why it's gonna need to go. So, more details in the rest of the video with the clips I, I shot uh, about the video, about the lathe. Uh, you know, it's a money maker. Uh, if you don't mind manual machining, uh, versus CNC, you know, if you don't mind manual machining um, and you have small parts, lots of small parts you want to make or something like that, uh, it's an excellent machine for that. And, and in a lot of ways, um, depending on the part, uh, this, this machine, you could actually be faster than a CNC machine other than you have to manually operate it. Uh, it's an uh, excellent machine, just excellent. I, I really don't want to part with it but i have space requirements so um and other things that i want to do and production work i really don't want to have to do so um so it's going to go down the road uh so uh to a new hopefully a new owner any questions please email me questions um or you know comment and stuff uh if you want uh if you want more detailed, real information, really good information, you know, email me. Um, you don't have my phone number, and I'm not going to put my phone number uh, out. Um, I get too many calls already. Email me, and I'll send you my phone number, and we can talk. Hopefully, you need one of these. This is a Hardage DSM-59 lathe. Three phase, 220 volts, one horsepower. Has a coolant system that you you run oil in. Uh, they're designed for oil to be run in. I use a phase rotary phase converter for it. Everything works on the lathe. All functionality. Um, it's variable speed. It's two speed control and stop and then also forward and reverse it's set up for with a collet system a type 21 collet system i have pretty much a full set of collets by 64 there might be a couple missing but pretty much a full set and some hex collets the lathe is in excellent condition i've made hundreds of parts on the lathe the turret is here. Now this can be positioned up and down the way, wherever you need it. Fully functional, excellent condition. Cross slide. The cross slide itself is basically new. Um, I've used a little bit, but uh, it, other than that, it is basically new. It was uh, like a new old stock type of thing, and. Two, uh, two uh, tool post uh, mounts and two tool posts. I actually have three tool posts for it themselves, not the mounts, two mounts. Now these are fully adjustable up and down. They turn and all that stuff, you know. They're bolted on right now. And this is adjustable wherever you need it along the ways also. And it's adjustable for stops in and out. Up here I have the uh, parting tool, the vertical mount parting tool, the headstock mounted 
uh, parting tool here. Parting tool blade is down here. And it's it, it you have the adjustments to get it right on center line and such. Very nice feature, very nice. Uh, th this one tool alone is worth um, worth everything as far as uh, use on the lathe goes. Uh, it frees up so you have two tool posts, let's say on your cross slide. You have six tools on your turret. It gives you eight tools here and uh, by moving the parting tool from your cross slide up here, uh, it just adds that extra functionality. And uh, believe me, I've used every, I've had eight tools and that running at the same time here. So for parts, so it's, uh, it, this thing is worth every penny <laughs> right here. These are hard to find and uh, it's worth every, every penny. This works awesome. It's the only way to do this, <laughs> but this this is awesome to have. Uh, instead of having to have a parting tool in one of the tool posts, uh, this you have it up here, and it it gives you more functionality. This is a six tool head on the turret. Five eighths takes five eight shanks into the turret. Um, what else? The Type 21 uh, collet is a very nice system because of the way it it grabs the collet actually pushes and that's what closes it. Then so when your part or your stock is in here, it does not change distance when you uh, clamp it down. It, it will not pull back on you like a C 5C uh, or that type of collet that pulls closed. This one pushes closed and. It keeps a, a much better reference. Actually, it's basically almost zeroed uh, as far as any movement goes. So this is a this is a Type 21 collet system, and this uh, I'm going to call it collet nut or spindle nut. This is what holds your collet in place, and it's the reference surface. So when it's up tight, the collet pushes up against it. It's always the same reference and your workpiece so it closes and it will not move your workpiece 5c call it when you pull it you pull it back and depending on the tension of that you have your collet set at it will move the workpiece and it will grab it and pull it back and so depending on how you have it set is how much it will pull back and this way you always have the same reference and so when it closes it doesn't move the workpiece which is very nice for precision work so when you could pull it when you pull it out against a stop and you lock it it stays there it doesn't change especially for your lengths of when you're uh, machining very very nice system works very well this is a type 21 collet right here and this is the reference surface for it right here this face so when you close it there's a tube on the collet closer and it pushes up against here and pushes the collet tight and closes the collet it, it you know it goes over this taper and squeezes it down but it pushes it again also against this reference surface and so when it does that your workpiece doesn't move. 5C collets, most pull type collets, pull back, and as they close down, they pull your work back, uh, depending on the tension you have your collet set at. Here, it doesn't ever do that. It's a super nice system. This is the variable speed control right here, faster, slower, and it gives you an approximate uh, RPM. This is not a super uh, fancy digital thing. It's just a mechanical uh, device that comes up and down. And uh, fully, this is calibrated. I've calibrated it, so it's very close. It has two numbers on here, and one is slow and one is fast. And that's controlled by the lever. Another feature of the headstock is you have a spindle lock right here. So.
right there. You gotta get in the right position. That's a spindle lock. There's also an electrical interlock switch on this. So if you do have that locked, you cannot operate the lathe. When you pull it out, uh, you're ready to go again. You need to spin the lock. You know, if you're going to adjust the collet over here on the end, you know, for your tension, uh, you need to hold this steady. So uh, this is uh, very, very helpful here. And then you can also, you know, if you pull it out, you can also use the set screw to lock it out if you want. I usually don't, but uh, it's never moved on me. So, but you have a set screw, you can actually lock it in the out position or in the, on the in position. I have it powered up. This is forward, stop, reverse, stop. And then this is in slow speed now. And then over here is fast speed. So you have forward and reverse. Now you can have it going and you can change from fast to slow while it's running if you want. So you're not having to shut it down every single time. Pretty much that's it. Call it closer, handle. This is the call it closer over here. All functional. Um, the adjustments for the call it are back here. So you loosen and tighten to get your collet set for your work. Uh, it's how tight you need it to be. Uh, it has a pass through. The through bore size here is 1.115 approximately. The largest collet I have is one inch and so you can stick a one inch, the one inch collet accepts through collet and uh, you can put a one inch piece of stock through. The coolant system has basically two modes of operation. You, on a switch on the panel, you can turn the pump, coolant pump on, so it runs continuously if you want. There you go, it's running right now. Or you put it, or you put it in the mode that it only runs when you have the lathe running. So if I go here forward, and then the pump comes on, and doesn't matter which way you ride forward or reserve uh, it turns the coolant pump on and I like I said I have two uh, spigots set up on it with valves so you can adjust the mount flow and this is on an adjustable rod up here so you can adjust the amount of flow or see I usually had one always one right pointed here uh, when I'm parting and then you might have one out here where, where you're actually machining or drilling a hole or something like that. So it's kind of nice having two uh, nozzles there. This is the right hand storage area. And in here we have two shelves. Here's the other tool post. Collets. Collets. Up to one inch. That uh, is the largest one. One inch. And I have some hex ones, uh, 3 16 quarter, 5 16 7 16 half inch. Somewhere I have a 3 8 uh, hex. I don't know why it's not in here. Anyway, um, and we have some uh, raised face, uh, raised nose, uh, or long nose collets also, some of them in here. Some are duplicated. Uh, these are kind of nice uh, for some things when you're what you're doing and down here are a pile of other collets let's see oh there's another hex that's a no that's not hex. there's a 3 8 there's a 3 8 hex right there there's a little out of order right now that's all Anyway, I have another dozen plus collets down here. Uh, I also have here a couple that have uh, I've, I've made stops for. 
to control your depth stops. So I have a couple of those in here. Got some extra bolts and stuff, but that's about it. This side is the uh, motor compartment. I have a couple of wrenches that will go with the go with the lathe. Uh, this one's for the uh, collet uh, to change your collet, and this one's for the back uh, and the collet closer. And then I have a couple other rings, uh, different thicknesses, uh, in case you want to change uh, the spacing up front. Sometimes that's necessary. And then down here, this is the motor uh, and the speed. Can, that's your speed changing motor here and the bigger motor the one horse one is the drive motors down below the ways are in excellent condition a little bit of staining uh, this was this way when I received it but other than that a little ding or pit like right there but other than that it's in excellent condition it, when I made all my scribes this is what I made it on. I made it on this lathe. Ah, uh, uh, well, not all of them. One one batch I did on my other lathe because I have turret attachment for my other lathe. Also, the machine is very quiet, so it's uh, easy to operate, and uh, it has it all the catch drain pan here all drains down into the sump in the back here, um, where the oil is, so you can. Uh, you know, it's, it's very clean operating. You think it's oil, but it, it's very clean and uh, drains down and, and, uh, and recycles. Well, thank you uh, for checking out the DSM-59 that I have for sale. And uh, if you're, like I said, inquiries, email me or comment, but preferably email and I'll send you my phone number. Uh, if you're really interested and uh, we can talk so thank you guys and thanks for watching